Hello! All you super subs there, it's your buddy Caesar. Ah, uh, yes, I didn't say that at the speed of light because if I did, it would have gotten louder and it would have busted your eardrums out. Now you know what my intro is. Isn't that fun? Anyway, so I realized that I didn't record anything all week because I've been a lazy sack of shiz, but I decided that today is the perfect time to become productive, right at the ripe, eight, at ripe time of 12 a.m. So today we are going to be doing an ASMR story. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I'm, don't worry, I won't be getting too loud because I am carefully monitoring myself in my own ears. So I, I have been seeing some so story time uh, videos going around recently. And I mean, I love them. They're great. They're really entertaining. But I decided to take it. I'm going to do it and I'm going to take it a step forward, lads. I am going to do, do tell my story in ASMR form. And uh, wouldn't you just love to hear all my lip-smacking goodness? Let's just take a nice swig of water before we start our story. refreshing okay so with all the stories going around i decided why the heck not would i share the story of that one time that i got stung at the one time and the first time that i was stung by a bee it's the story that i will never ever forget it was such a traumatizing experience for me that i don't think i'll ever forget that time it, it all started on on just a a, a bright and sunny um day in in good old like philadelphia you know i'm not sure it was philadelphia i'm sure it was somewhere in the the tri-state area honestly i don't know um and my my family and i were we're on our way to do a, a like a really cool thing called a sky coaster and i was like big damn oh my god i like i could you this sky coaster you could control your speed you know how freaking me amazing that is like it's not a pre th it, it's all up to you it's like a choose your own adventure isn't that amazing so uh we go over there and we're we're waiting in line and i see like instructions on how to like stop and go and i'm like all right shut the frick up i just want to get on the damn thing already so we get we're moving the line and we're going closer and closer and i'm finally there i'm finally at my destiny well the beginning of my journey um so I step into the cart and uh, it was a little blue, like carrot looking thing. Um, and I, it was revving up. So how it, how it goes is that you, uh, the bloody thing freaking puts you on an automatic track to the top. That's where you control your speed on the way down. So as I was going up, I was just having a a bloody time uh you know before, uh i hope you know that with uh, the stuff that i'm wearing uh yeah i'm a blind bastard okay um i can't see jack dizzle without many things but um so that just that past weekend before we visited i think philadelphia maybe somewhere in the tri-state area uh we i just got new glasses they weren't these ones uh, there were some other ones i don't remember um got new glasses dude i've i've had glasses before um i didn't like them they pinched my nose and uh, i decided to be like uh you know what sight's a sight's awful who likes to see far away so i decided i'm gonna ditch glasses and make my prescription even worse and now i am almost as blind as a, an actual bat so um it's not a fun time um <laughs> so now that you're kind of caught up, uh, I got new glasses and I decided to bring this to the sky coaster so I could see the scenery on the way up and just admire how amazing nature is. You know, um, you're going to find out how ironic that is in a moment. Um, <laughs> buckle up. It's going to be a ride. So uh, I'm in the car and I'm waiting to get to the top and I'm seeing all the beautiful mountains in the 4k vision that I was blessed with. And at the same time, I am, you know, closing my eyes and imagining Will, uh, Owen Wilson and, and just saying, a speed. I am speed. And I'm just saying that in my head over and over. And I'm like, bro, 
I'm gonna go so fast, my asshole's gonna turn inside out. So finally, we uh, I reached the top, and uh, it says, "Go on ahead. It's your you go when you wanna go, baby." And I was like, "Hell yeah!" So I freaking take those two freaking red grips on the side and freaking plunge forward, and. That was it. I was going at the speed of light, freaking, the speed, like freaking super, Sonic couldn't even catch me. I was going so fast. The carrot was going up and down, swiss and swords. I was freaking juggling up and down in my seat. Dude, I almost fell out a couple of times. I could have died today. Um, Not today, but I could have died that day. (laughs) Mind you, the little, the, the carrot and everything wasn't, it's not a long ride, especially when you're going as fast as I was, dude. I was, I was I was sailing past old ladies. It, there's a big sign at the uh, nearing the end of it. So if you are going as obviously as fast as I was, uh, it's gonna have a sign that says "Slow down" uh, or you die. Um, so I was like, okay, nice. I'll slow down. I'll obey the law. I'm lawful good. Um, and so I start slowing down, and I decide, you know what? It's time to take one last look at beautiful nature. Nature is so wonderful. Nature has blessed us with mountain peaks and clouds, and you know, po- like uh, it's a shame that humanity is really destroying you with pollution. Um, and so I look to I I look around one last time, and all of a sudden, dude, it happens so goddamn fast. This black entity, like legit shadow demons. It could have been a shadow demon. I d- uh. and it just sloops underneath my glasses. It stings me, and it stings right under my right here. It stung right here, and then it decides. You know what? Uh, dude, I need 4K vision, and then just straight snatches my glasses right off my face. That that bee is a bully. That bee straight up bullied me and took my lunch money and took my glasses too. Once I realized what happened, I was like, wait a second, I can't see. So I hold to a, I hold to a stop and I'm like, shiz, uh, I don't know where my glasses are. Um, so I'm looking for them and I'm just like, oh my God, the bee freaking fricked me over baby uh so i'm just like okay let's panic on the inside okay panic you know the band panic at the disco my new band name is panic on the inside okay and i uh go on my merrily way until i get to the end of the ride where i see all my parents and uh, all my parents yes the two parents that i have i don't have four uh sorry to disappoint um all my family and everything. Um, and uh, so I go down there with this very like, uh, almost like I'm constipated, but I'm very worried. Like, like I'm worried that I, I can't poop. That's my worried constipated face. It was like, oh, what do I do? And my, my, once I get down there, my dad's like, uh, yeah, uh, so uh, where's your glasses? And I'm like, oh, shiz, uh, this ain't good, sire. Um, so I, I tell my dad the story and uh, the, the exact same story that I'm telling you, mind you. And well, <laughs> he doesn't believe me. He's like, are you that's not even true. Like, what is your problem? Like, why would if you just lost your glasses, you could have just said you lost your glasses. And I'm like, bro, this is exactly how it happened. Do you see this mother freaking bee sting right under my eye? Look at it. It's swelling up. I can't see anymore because it's it's swelling up so much that I, I it's closing my eyelids at this point. Good news. Good news. Good news. Uh, B apparently can't hold freaking uh, five ounce glasses uh, and uh, they, he dropped them. And so jokes on him, he's still blind. So we found my glasses, luckily, luckily so. I was blessed with 4K vision once more um, and I cherished those glasses a little bit more than I usually do with anything that I own. Um, and But the, the whole moral of the story really is, is that I still seek vengeance on that one B to this very day. I am watching every second for that black bee so that I could crush him under the heel of my boot so that he t- he it a set, sets an example to other bees so that they don't touch me ever again. And oddly enough, I haven't been stung by bees since then. Okay, well, that was the that one time that I was stung by a bee and quite honestly the first time and I am still hoping that it is the last time that I have ever stung by a bee. It is the most traumatizing experience of 
my life basically but you know it makes for fun content uh to do asmr on so uh i hope you all enjoyed this little asmr story time thing um if you're listening to this before you go to sleep i'm sorry who knows i don't know uh if you liked it i'm i do have more bizarre stories of shit happening to me um so if you liked it dude i might come back with some more asmr times but anyway thank you all so much for joining me for this video if you did enjoy uh blast that like button with a hadouken uh, don't forget to subscribe for some more pass-up content. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I hate myself so much. This is my life. And I don't know why do I do these things. Okay, bye.